Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, next, next transformation called uh, Cartesian. Okay, the Cartesian transformation is basically uh, uh, uses the or gives the result in a Cartesian product. So basically, what is Cartesian product? For uh, say example, if you are doing a Cartesian product on uh, uh, two data set, okay, for each element in the first data set, it will prepare the combination. Uh, first uh, each element in the first data set with the uh, each element in the second uh, second data set that's that's how it forms the cartesian product so we'll understand how it works in the uh, uh, pi spark in terms of uh, rdd uh, transformation so if you do the uh, cartesian uh, between first rdd and second rdd what is the result it gives and we'll go through it so before going to the uh, the, the example i'll just minimize my recording window okay uh, let me walk through with the example. Um, yeah, so this is my uh, 18th video in this uh, PySpark 101 tutorial. Uh, please uh, watch my other videos as well as provide your feedback. And if you have any doubt, post the uh, uh, comments or question on your uh, comment section of the each video. Thank you. So let me walk through this program. Okay, so this is uh, basically uh, importing a. Uh, um, Python package, a PySpark package with the, uh, I'm going to import the Spark session uh, class and I'm importing a, a simple uh, Python package called time just to display the time, uh, current time. Okay, so this is the entry point of the PySpark program. Okay, uh, just print the, what are the message you want to print and uh, this is uh, to print the current time, uh, date time. Okay, so you can, uh, time is one of the package from this you have a function called uh, strf uh, string, string format time formatting a time object into string format so basically you can give this uh, format this is the format so basically y y represents year month and m represents month and d represents date and the day um, and uh, <coughs> um, h ref, uh, references uh, or refers uh, hour m is for minute and capital letter s for second this is how you can actually print the uh, date time okay so what is this cartesian product is going to give uh, i'd already told you so returns the cartesian product of uh, this uh, rdd okay with another rdd that is uh, uh, rdd of uh, all pass of elements uh, where a comma b where the a is uh, if uh, in itself and b is in other okay so that means actually it is going to give you a, a tuple of uh, uh, each combination from one RDD to another RDD. Okay, uh, we'll take the example and uh, uh, we'll just run and uh, see how it works. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm just creating a sparse session object. Okay, now I am creating for simplicity sake. I took a simple example. Okay, so first RDD is going to contain a, uh, a number one two three, and the second RDD is going to contain number uh, one two four. So if you see, you will get the combination of uh, 12 uh, key value pairs, okay, 3 into 3 cross uh, 4, which is uh, 12, okay. <coughs> uh, so if you have a 3, uh, first, uh, first RDD with 3 uh, elements, second RDD with 3 elements, you will get a 9 key value pairs, so that's how it works, okay. So what you are going to do is, this is the uh, list object of numbers, the Python object just converted as RDD using the parallelized method. Using a parallelized method, you can just convert from Python object to RDD. So once you have a RDD 1 and 2, now we can apply the RDD Cartesian transformation. So what did, uh, so from the RDD, so it takes first element 1 and uh, combines or uh, finds the uh, uh, the combination, okay, pairs with the 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7. So you get 4 key value pairs and it takes again second element and pairs with the 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, it will get 4 uh, uh, elements, 4 key value pairs, and it takes the third element and it forms the key value pair between uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. So basically, you get uh, for, uh, for each, uh, right? So you will get a 12 uh, key value pairs. We'll see uh, what is the, uh, how the, how it look like. Okay, I'll run, I'll run the program and show you. Then after that, what we are going to do is just to find out, uh, I'm going to find out the, sum of uh, uh, sum of uh, uh, numbers uh, are i'm going to uh, group this uh, i just 
take this as a key okay so basically this is a key and this will become act as each element from this will act as key uh, value right so just you sum up uh, all the values based on uh, key group uh, group the key and uh, some find the sum of the values so basically you will get the same uh, um, sum value because you took each element and uh, forming the uh, uh, combination from uh, each uh, elements in the other array day so you the sum of value will be same for uh, all the keys that's what i want to show you okay so let me run this program so uh, basically i'm just walking through the all commonly used uh, uh, transformation uh, uh, in PySpark and with respect to rdd transformation so once we complete the rdd transformation and actions we'll go for uh, 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 data frame operations and spark sql which will have more uh, 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 interesting uh, things to know okay so uh, so basically this is the first rdd okay one two three second rd four five six okay so it is it's found the cartesian product basically it took uh, each element from first rdd one four one five one six one seven again two four two five two six two seven and it finds other uh, combination like uh, three to four three uh, theory combined with four three five three six three seven so if you see uh, so if you actually sum up uh, uh, each uh, sum of values based on the key you will get a 22 so summing up uh, 4 plus uh, 5 9 uh, 15 and 22 so if you sum up for each key so that's what it is getting so this is how the partition product works it's very simple um, so we'll uh, i hope this video is uh, uh, you understood okay uh, please uh, go through my uh, uh, playlist i have many uh, technology playlist like uh, i actually created for uh, pyspark so we are actually in the pyspark on tutorial right we i have another um, playlist for uh, apache spark for beginners in python as well as the um, scala we have a machine learning playlist you can go and watch it there is a uh, playlist which actually uh, contains a data engineer preparation program there are a lot of things there you can actually go through it and also i have uh, other uh, playlist like a kafka there is a for kafka tutorial there is a playlist please watch this uh, uh, my videos and provide your feedback and if you have any doubt put it on the comment section of each video thank you so much friends see you in the next video